Chronic fatigue is kind of like they took the stopper out of the energy reserve tank. I have slept 12, 16, 18 hours a day. It's hard because everyone's like, oh, do you feel better? Do you, do you feel, have energy? And it's like, I still don't have any energy. And remember, it's just to go as far as you can. Zach Alt used to be an avid athlete before chronic fatigue syndrome attacked. Now he's pushing his limits to help researchers unravel one of medicine's biggest mysteries. Are you good? Yeah. The ignorance about the condition just vastly dwarfs what we know about it. The NIH is bringing volunteers to its hospital in a one-of-a-kind study to hunt the causes. An estimated 2.5 million Americans suffer from chronic fatigue syndrome, also known as ME-CFS. The public doesn't know much about it. They don't understand it. Um, at first, at least, it was a lot of, oh, he's just depressed. So this is Gabby. The difference is he wants to get out of bed, but he physically can't. The NIH is tracking people like Alt, whose disease struck after an infection. It was about a five-month process before I was actually diagnosed with chronic fatigue from when I first got strep. Volunteers are being tested from head to toe to try and find the culprit. Step on in. I have our metabolic room. Sleep tight. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right. Scientists are paying special attention to how their bodies use energy. Understanding the drivers for the up and down, the start, the up and down, the symptoms, the severity, those are all things that we have to find a biological basis for. It's hard not to know whether I'm going to recover, if or when. It took a long time to get to the point where hope for the best, but live for right now and accept what's happening. NIH has doubled its funding to study the disease and hopes it will spur more research. Federica Narancio, Associated Press.